NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports in association with the PGA Tour proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. It's the opening round of the Peach Invitational. Located in Atlanta, Georgia, the East Lake Golf Club is the home course to the legendary golfer Bobby Jones. It's the oldest golf course in the city of Atlanta. This is Rich Lerner along with Frank Navolo for EA Sports and we'll be calling all the action out on the course today. The action now, Being spectacular to this point in the first round. What does the player need to do just to kind of generate some momentum? I actually think they're playing all right, Rich. It's just, you know, you, compared to the top of the leaderboard, you start to think, well, maybe they're struggling. But there's ebbs and flows in this game. At the moment, it's just almost like a hole to change that. Well, it's going to take a good one here, considering what they've already gone through, Rich. Um, right now, that green is going to look very small, so it's going to take a good shot here to give himself an opportunity. Some really poor play to this point. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. Early part of this back nine and a good approach shot. And now we'll have this for birdie. Locked in speed. Came to the putt, excited to make birdie. Now, let's settle for par. Yeah, a little change in the uh, attitude right now. Let one go. Been a little too much of that, Frank. Just sort of ho-hum pars. Now at the only hole on the course that starts with a one at the beginning of the yardage, this par 3 11th, just under 200 yards, right around 197. That one is bunker bound, it looks like. Not his best shot, and now he'll have to deal with a bunker. Yeah, they say the hardest shot in golf, the next one. Now from the bunk splash out on this par three. Solid play, heart of the green. Even par currently. Still even par for the day. On to the 12th hole here at East Lake. It is relatively short, just 391 yards, but there is a bit of trouble. Frank couldn't ask for anything more. Uh. Just the lie there, too. It is sitting up like it's teed up. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really, the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special.
stuffed it in there really close, and now just to tap in. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. You'd like that one again? Well, there's an opportunity wasted. Just knock it in for a pass, forget about this one. Um, golf is not about perfect, but it's going to hurt the course. In for par. Now at the par 4 13th, and this one is all you want. Good, challenging tee shot, and then you need to put the ball in the right spot on the green. It slopes from back to front, and this one will require a player to be dialed in. Good strike, good chance to attack the pin. Well, Frank, as we know, golf is not played generally on a flat surface, and here we go, uphill. Yeah, and the uphill lie is going to guarantee you more loft than normal. So you're going to have to counteract that with uh, maybe an extra club. Safely on deck. Cody try up next. And getting ready for the putt. And who knows? It is a four round tournament, setting himself up for a good weekend, maybe a great one. The young star makes his birdie. Old oaks and tall pines make this straightaway par four of a difficult side hill stance along the right side of the fairway. That two-tiered green is bunkered on both sides with a green slope. Player below the hole will have chances for birdie. That is tasty looking right there from just a perfect spot in the fairway. That is prime real estate. How do you get a lie like that? Seriously, you could hit any club from there. East Lake Golf Club was named the permanent home of the Tour Championship by Coca-Cola back in 2005. It is the final event of the PGA Tour playoffs for the fact only the top 30 players on this list qualifying each year. I'm sneaking into contention here with that birdie. Top 15 now on the leaderboard. We mentioned just two par fives here at East Lake, and here is that second par five. It's the 15th and only 525 yards. Yeah, this is a doozy, really, especially where it comes in the round. It forces you to attack the hole. Uh, there's plenty of trouble off the tee, bunkers right and that solitary one on the left. But uh, the second shot, if you can just keep it slightly left of the, the natural contours, will send that ball to the right. 220 yards, just crushed it in the fairway. This could be a huge momentum swing here, Frank. Yeah, one more good swing, and he's going to have an eagle putt coming up. I know you don't want to get ahead of yourself, but that is well on the cards. Looks as though they're going to need to use all their strength to sort of hack it up, missing it off the tee here. Well, we've seen this before today in the bunker. All right, so greenside bunker. What's he looking at? Green, you got to fly the ball right by the flag. Allow it to run like a putt. You never know, it might just go in. Well, Frank, that the outlook, doesn't it? Yeah, from the middle of nowhere, so we've really forgotten it in the top 15. Big move. That's the end of round one. We saw a lot of good golf out there today, Frank. And it was a bonus to uh, anyone that got off to a good start today.
NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports in association with the PGA Tour proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live second-round coverage of the Peach Invitational. Frank, did you hear the sound of that coming off the club face? It was like a cannon. That is a fantastic long shot. There's no way he could hit that without a tail breeze. Surely that breeze had to help there. Frank, you've played in conditions all over the world. Here come the winds now. What's the mindset? Separates the men from the boys. This is where you've got to tell yourself that it's an advantage to you. Um, obviously, the scores will go up a little bit, um, given the conditions. But once again, this is going to suit the strong today. You like the old phrase, swing easy when it's breezy? Definitely when you're hitting it into a head breeze. But um, if down breeze, tee it up a little bit, try and ride that wind some more. Can't booty them all, Rich. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Workman like Hole, he walks away with a par. 11th hole here at East Lake is just 197 yards. Frank, where's the trouble at this par three? Uh, more at the front, Rich. Um, you can see why soft landing shots are well rewarded at 11 very tight in the front of the screen and then starts to widen up. This is another one that's about distance control, iron play. The par threes here at Eastlake are wonderful. Surely not. You can't hide the flag stick from that man. He is just uh, unbelievable, that, that never deviated offline. Oh, I thought he had that. Oh, man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. Good putt. Here at the downhill 12th now. Drive. Just tattooed that. All right, so they have the number. Now they have the green light trying to get at this whole location. That's good stuff right there. Wonderful approach, and now a really good look at Birdie. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Well, that was a little bizarre right there. I didn't expect that. Par attempt here. Has it, good putt right there. This is a par four that will test the players. 476 yards, the 13th hole, and Frank, it's a good driving hole. It certainly is. It plays closer to 500 yards because you're going uphill. Uh, avoid the two bunkers on the left, that's a given there. You can see those off the tee. And that second shot, make sure you take enough club to carry that bunker on the left. 
That is massive off the tee. Meters, yards, I don't care how you measure that. That's got to be what? 300 meters, 325 yards, something like that. Good swing, good shot yet again. Just another solid shot, about eight feet from the hole. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. He's got to put it together right now, Frank. Join that trio at the top. Back here at the par 4 14th, we're ready to tee off. Excellent looking shot here. Paying attention like a little kid at school, Frank. That baby's sitting up sitting up. It's got the best view as well. You don't even need binoculars from where that ball is. Chance to set himself up for a good scoring opportunity with his second shot here. of shot making this has been Frank oh, that incredible approach shot there the easiest of birdies coming up Frank going for two in a row now that is some good work right there birdie and one shot closer to the lead so that is a top 10 performance through two rounds Frank it's always nice to know that you have a shot with two rounds left in the tournament NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports in association with the PGA Tour proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live third-round coverage of the Peach Invitational. Great Bobby Jones used to say the hardest shot in golf's the next one. Judging by that light, it's not going to be too hard. Well, he's going to have to hit the same club a lot harder or just hit another one. There's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. Just wearing out the center of the club face. Hasn't missed a shot. Hasn't missed a green in regulation all day long. Settles in over the putt. What a birdie. Now just a handful of players in contention. 
Frank, back to back, dog legs to the left as we step on the tee here at the eighth. This one, a little different to the seventh hole. This one's fairly flat. And uh, also that fairway runs out on the right side. Um, you can try and flash it across all the bunkers. There's no real advantage. You have to respect those bunkers. Um, it should just leave you a, a sand iron, a wedge maximum in here. This is a good scoring opportunity, providing you hit the fairway. The approach now at the eighth, and Frank, what's the right play? This is one of the widest greens on the golf course. There's just a subtle a ridge and terrain that sort of moves that ball from that left side to the right. When the flag's on the left, you have to keep it left. And when the flag's on the right, you can use the middle of the green to move the ball around. Get down, lay down. Wow, lucky break right there, Frank. Well, that's what everyone else is gonna say, except him. These putts keep the round together. This can be a cruel game at times. Came to the putt excited to make birdie. Now, settle for par. Yeah, little change in the uh, attitude right now. You've let one go. You've got to really knuckle down there. Make sure you don't drop a shot. It's important this one goes in. Ooh, look at this, Frank. 600 yard par five here at the ninth. It's tasty. You'd think you'd just comfortably smash a drive over there and reach it in two. Sometimes it works out that way, but they just put a little lake that comes across and that cuts in the fairway. So if you have hit an errant tee shot, uh, you might have to make um, a decision. Outstanding tee shot. Yeah, ball sitting up. You don't have to worry about the wind or anything there. You just take a full-blooded cut at the second shot from here. Safety aboard. Makeable punt right here, currently sitting at one under for the round. That was a good run right there. Almost went in. Uh, at least he's seen the line as it went past the hole. So just replicate that on the way back. Frank, this is a good position to be in for a player. Making birdies, making some moves. Yeah, starting to get the momentum too for the finish. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Nabilo for EA Sports. We are back on a beautiful day here at East Lake Golf Club in Atlanta. Set to kick off all the action on the back nine. The 10th is 469 yards. Par five for the members, uh, Rich, par four for the pros. There is a lake down there, but it's only for top of Ted, not these uh, great players in the field. Um, nine bunkers last time I counted them here on uh, 10, and uh, I'd like to think they're not all on play. I've got to mention one thing, though. There's an out-of-bounds left of those bunkers on the left. And believe me, I've seen a few go over the fence. I've played some golf with Topper Ted, also with Hacker Harry. Good players. This one's looking good. Well, it's obvious he is in complete command of his golf ball right now. Par yesterday, now for birdie. That was a nice birdie, and no doubt he's feeling pretty good about his position on this leaderboard. A series of good holes in a row has got him to this point.
Frank, we were commenting earlier in the day that this round had really gone wrong. Are, are you surprised that he's been able to put it back together? I oh, certainly am. It, it lost his composure, his rhythm. So really to be playing this well so quickly after that, um, you know, tip your hat. Always a chance in this game. Just a couple of feet. Pretty much doing everything right this week. 11 under for the tournament. Frank, that front page of the leaderboard has been looking good all week. You're exactly right, Rich. Uh, I think our winner is certainly going to come from that list right now. I'm excited for tomorrow's final round. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports in association with the PGA Tour proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live final round coverage of the Peach Invitational. Good strike, good lie. Good chance to attack the pin. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. safely on deck. Well, that is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, it's a formality now. Getting set now over the putt. And he has it for birdie. Old oaks and tall pines make this straightaway par for a really tight and demanding driving hole. Longer tee shots could leave a difficult side hill stance side of the fairway. That two-tiered green is bunkered on both sides with the green sloping again from back to front. Players placing their ball below the hole will have chances for birdie. Frank couldn't ask for anything more. Uh, just the lie there, too. It is sitting up like it's teed up. Frank looking at a downhill approach shot here at the par 4 14th. How important is club selection? It's vital here, Rich. Uh, you've got to adjust for that downhill. Plus, the pitch of the fairway, more than often, uh, the ball is going to be slightly below your feet. So if anything, you want to err on the left side of the flag. That is classy. Yeah, the chance of going in. Simple, solid, and he'll take it. But one that you need to make. Well, Frank, a great scoring opportunity here at the par 5 15th. You'd think just blaze away with the driver, but those two bunkers down the right side are a perfect distance off the tee to make you respect those. And that one down the left, well, if you pull it a little bit, that can come into play. 
And that second shot oh, is virtually straight up the hill. What a tremendous display of power and precision. Big swing coming up here at the par 5 15th. This could be a good one. Two short eagle attempt on the way. This would give him an eagle on the car. Moving on to number 16 now, 481 yard, par four. Another one that's downhill with the fairway sloping from left to right. Series of bunkers down the left side. Um, it's not the end of the world, actually, if you go on those ones down the left. Every now and again, you'll see someone try and hit a driver and try and take them all out of play. Um, is that you? Excellent drive, Frank, right where you want to be. Frank, what's the play here on the 16th? Downhill second shot, perhaps take one club less, and also just uh, let the ball release on this green. That should be pretty good right there. We're on the safe side. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. Birdie here yesterday. This putt again for birdie. Continues to amaze yet another birdie. And what a day it's been. Just two holes left here at East Lake. Frank, we have another par four set at 455 yards. Frank, that ball's sitting up like it's on plush carpeting. Rich, if you and I had lies like that every time, we'd still be playing this game for a living. Beautiful shot. That is tight. Unbelievable. That is one to save it for the rest of the round. Made par yesterday. This one for birdie. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Now to the final hole here at East Lake Golf Club. And Frank, there aren't too many golf courses that finish with a par three. And uh, that's why it's always under a debate whether you should finish on a par three, especially one of this length. Uh, twos are very, very hard to find on this green. And the reason why there's so many slopes and hollows here, the two bunkers, well, remember the great up and down from Jim Furyk from the right bunker? That's more than possible. Um, but this is it. This is what it comes down to. Uh, somehow make a three. Great way to finish off the final approach shot with a birdie opportunity. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Great, too. Beautiful. Just a great putt and a great win.